Happy Monday, y'all. It's Monday morning. And we got a vehicle to wrap here. Woohoo! So this old poor girl, old school four door. I didn't even know they made four doors back in these, but a few of them around. So we had a lot of uh, a lot of body work on there. Got a new tailgate in the back to put on. A lot of body work. Get her all get smoothed out. Get some rust out of it. Get it all cleaned up. And uh, we're gonna make this baby all gloss black. She's gonna be black on black on black. You betcha. So right now we're just gonna let her thaw out a little bit because it is cold outside and this thing's a little slushed up. I'm gonna let her thaw out or move her over into her stall that she's gonna sit in for a while here. Get wrapped up. Ah, uh, yeah. I like having wraps in the shop. That makes me happy, especially on Monday. That's a great way to start the week. Fill up the shop, man. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a cold one outside, man. It's like negative, negative something degrees. It's, it doesn't even matter once it's negative. It's just cold. It just looks cold out there, don't it? It just look cold. Ugh. My man Joey is, uh, y'all haven't seen him around here much. He is stuck up on a lake. Um, they got like two feet of snow in the last week and blizzarding and all sorts of nastiness. He's stuck up there trying to help people get off the lake, help trying to get people out to safety. The, uh, the man that calls himself an asshole is probably one of the nicest guys around. He actually helps people. He just calls himself an asshole. It's fun. But, uh, yeah, hopefully he can get off the lake and, uh, make his way back down here to safety here and we can get playing on this truck shouldn't be too bad pretty flat bodied on there I'm gonna probably take the the box off of it remove the box from there and set that up on something so we can wrap that separately so we can get the front or the back of the cab Wrapped a little easier, get a little deeper on there. She's gonna look nice, man. Be all black. You don't like it. But. Hey, y'all, welcome to the show. I'm Kyle Vandenhall, owner of Rapability, and this. Is rap star. So you wanna roll with us? You better get to showing us that you already know enough there is. I'm annoying us. We got these people going nuts. These white boys got a million tracks in a single car. What you worried about us? Layouts to do here. Let's see this logo that we did last week. Homeboy likes the logo. Already tamed. that? No. Who, nobody touched you, Siri. I don't care. I'm not sure I understand. You don't understand shit, Siri. We're trying. So I got a guy text me asking about the price for a wrap. Even the price on it. It's about 3500 bucks for his car. Wow. That's pretty expensive for a wrap. Paint jobs cost around there. Yeah. Shitty paint jobs. You go to a good place that's doing like Mercedes and BMWs, they're gonna be like mm, six to eight grand, ten grand at least for the specialty colors. Shit ain't cheap, man. Want good stuff? It ain't cheap. And cheap ain't good. Just to make sure that it's gonna lay out backwards on the truck, because on the other side it's gonna be backwards. So I just want to double check that that's going to lay out good. Perfect. Beautiful. Alright, so this printer tells me when I need to clean it. It says time for maintenance. So, hit OK. Now it's processing. It does a lot of that. It does an awful lot of processing. 
I don't know what it's processing, but it does a lot of processing. So while it's processing, I'm gonna get my stuff ready. I need some of those and some cleaner. We got cleaning liquid and these things. Have that over here. That's what we're gonna need. Still processing. I don't, even, the, I don't even think it knows what it's processing. But in any event, we haven't printed anything for a while. So it's probably a little bit dirty. So we got our things there. Now, done processing. All right. Here you go. Function. Cleaning. It's right away. Over. Down to manual cleaning. And it tells me what to do. Open cover L. L stands for left. This is the left side. So, I'm going to put this down. Okay. See what we're playing with here. There's a little set screw over here that I remove. that off. Now this is something I'm supposed to do every week on here. I didn't do it last week because we weren't printing anything last week and I just wasn't even looking at the printer, wasn't thinking about it. So it tells me to close cover left, remove the cut rail, close it. Now the head is going to move over. <laughs> Into there. Once it gets parked, it'll beep. Maybe. Not beeping. Okay, just tells me to do it. So now we open this cover. And this is what we have to clean. Up under there. So you see that? That four. I have four print heads. We shoot out eight colors here. And those need clean. The edges of it and stuff. See how there's build up along the edges of them. Gonna get some gunk. See that gunk in there? Gotta take clean that off. Otherwise that builds up and makes a stinking mess of your print. Builds up and then the ink just kind of starts splotching all over. Tears get in there and it's just nastiness. So get up in there and uh, clean them up. The key is use a bunch of this fancy little cleaning fluid and do not touch the heads. Just clean the sides of it. I'm just wiping the excess ink off the sides. Get these little heads, sides of the heads and stuff clean. There's not a bunch of over spray all over everything. A little bit of ink on there. Bring the garbage over here a little closer for me. Okay, dip another one. I use two or one for two heads. I use two of them here for the heads. Flip them over, use different piece sides of them. Usually. That looks pretty good. Well, nasty. Alright, now we're gonna go over the other side. Here we have a wiper, which wipes stuff, and dampers, so what the heads sit on while it's sitting there. So we gotta clean that up. It's usually pretty good because that thing just kind of has its own little cleaning pad right in there that it sits on. The dampers here, 
are the ones that just get sop full of ink because that's where ink pumps through. Make sure that's nice and clean around there. It just sits on that. That way it keeps the ink all wet and flowing good. That just gets all soppy gunky. Uh -huh. I imagine eventually I'm gonna have to switch those out and get some new dampers in there. But they're good for right now. This baby ain't too old. A year and a half old. It's old as a company. cleaned up and it tells us to close that finished yep now it's gonna bring it back over come on with it <laughs> back to its little home gets in its home now I gotta put this side back on Put the lid back on. Put my stuff back away. Don't forget these. Ooh, running low on those. Should have ordered some. I think I might. I can still call them. Is that all I have left of those? It is. It is, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need more. Yep. Alright. Put the garbage away. Things put away. Now this thing's gonna do its own cleaning here for a couple minutes. It's gonna clean itself out and wipe itself down and run some ink through and throw a bunch of ink in the garbage. Because that's what printers do really well. That's ink just dripping down into the garbage. You don't even want to look at that. You don't want to measure that. That's just dollars going into the garbage. But it's what it does to keep itself clean, keep itself working good. Whatever. So that's how we clean a printer. We're going to run some test prints on it and uh, do some more cleaning on it. Make sure she's printing all perfect. Up that the uh, door of this. Check this out. Banquet meals, motherfucker! <laughs> Banquet meals in the house. Banquet meals in the house. Banquet meals in the house. Uh, 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 uh. Eating like a king never felt so good. I got that turkey, it tastes like wood. You want some mashed potatoes and peas? I got that stuff, and it's almost even green. 
<laughs> so, there's one thing that really is not a whole lot of fun about running a business. Paying the tax man. Da 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 da. <laughs> the Department of Revenue. They always want their money. They want on time. Gotta get them their money. That's part of doing business. Gotta pay taxes. So, right now, we're gonna file some taxes. Because, uh, yeah. They're doing about. The date today, 28. Doing about three days. So I think we should probably do that today. Just in case we get busy the rest of the week. Because I think we're going to. Because I'm going to have another van coming in. And then on Wednesday I'm going to have another truck coming in. And we're going to be full, baby. Yeah. So we got to do some taxes right now while we got a little bit of calm before the storm. So let's pay some taxes. I'm going to shut the camera off. Because I don't want to see you guys see me cry. I don't want you to see me cry. Real tears when I pay taxes. I hate it. But by paying taxes, that means I'm making money. So on the other hand, like, eh, it ain't bad. Because the more taxes you pay, that means you're making more money. And, uh, I like making more money. Now for rapability basketball. Here we go. Oh! Five. Probably why I was the first senior to ever get cut from the basketball team. Short. Shot ain't that great. And I'm short. Ha! Oh, and probably because I wanted to wear Velcro shoes uh, with a really strict coach. He didn't like that so much. <laughs> Time to fill up a shot. Another one coming in, babe. This thing is nasty. This side ain't too bad. We got a bunch of it off. Still got more to come off here. This paint is all gonna come off with it. Else. That came off all right. This side took a lot of paint with it. So we're not going to even touch down on the rocker there. But we got to get rid of the loose stuff. Scrape that stuff off of there. Get her a little cleaned up. Jesus. Nasty, man. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Ugh. Gross. But, gotta wrap it. We gotta take that back off, too. This back looks gross. You can't even see it, man. See how tough this back comes off? Get some heat. Uh, 
Maybe we won't get heat yet. We'll let it warm up first. Yeah, we're gonna let her warm up. When I get the vehicle that comes from the bitter cold, I'm gonna open her up. That way the inside of it warm up like the outside. Helps it warm up a little faster. And put some windows down. I'm gonna let this thing warm up here. All right, y'all. So we got that van in here. Starting to print some for it. And the window is gonna come in. So now it's in here and printing. Uh, we'll clean it up tomorrow a little bit. Right now, I want to get some files ready for it. I have most of the files on there, but this van, I'll show you the way we lay it out, is uh, we have a top piece, big swoosh, and there's a top, and then there's a bottom. And we hide the seam in there, and it's been tricky to get that everything lined up perfectly. And I know how to do it, but we want to make it easier on ourselves. We want a new vans, new van vans, new 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 vans, van 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 new, new 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 vans, new van prints. Okay. Now you'll see down here. This is how I do it. It's like that, and then I cut out a square like that, and a piece like that. But right now, there's nothing that tells which, where anything goes. So I'm going to do something real, kind of real simple. Let's make a, a box there that's green. We'll make that a black box. Black box there, and a black box there for lineup. And we're also going to make one out here. Oh y'all, it's cold outside, man. But uh, whew. I gotta admit, I am a little bit feeling a little nervous about how this week is gonna go. I mean, it's a good thing starting off with two vehicles in the shop that are getting a bunch of wrap done. But uh, my man Joey, my main installer. He's uh, he's stuck, broke down about 200 miles north of here. Uh, his truck is broken. It's limping to the shop. So yeah, I'm down a man. And when I'm down a man, that leaves just one man. That means that I got a bunch of cleaning and prepping and installing to do this week. But uh, so we're gonna see what we can kick out here the next few days. I brought my stuff home to work on a little design work at home here because I ain't going to be working on any designs at the, at the shop here. While I'm here, I'm going to be printing and prepping and wrapping and going like crazy, man. So, it's about to be a furious next few days. Actually, while we're thinking about it, while we're still sitting here, I'm going to... We got a little checklist for what we got to work on here the next couple days. Tomorrow is Tuesday, the 29th. Got a little handy dandy checklist. Tuesday, 2019. We're going to prep Waterbury Van. It's nasty. That's a big job, though. We got like removal and stuff. <laughs> We're gonna put removal of WB in a separate piece, that's a lot of shit to do. We got print all of that van. Print everything for that van. It's gonna be to 
towards the end of the week we can stick it with we do like Wednesday, Thursday it gets sticking. Um then we wanna do a removal on that truck. Um we want to prep that truck. pipeline here for the next week week and a half ish I like to get stuff going for about two weeks scheduled out but that's you know summertime we're scheduled two three weeks out but it's a good feeling if I can start doing that already January February it's just moving baby it's just moving all right now I'm gonna order some food Better get to showing us that you already know I'm going with I'ma know us people going over with white white boys Rap a million tracks in a single cup Which what you worried about up? So you wanna wonder what you better get to showing us that you already know I'm going with I'ma know us people going over with white white boys Rap a million tracks in a single cup Which what you worried about up? So you wanna wonder 